hello there guys and welcome I'm Kayla and you are here for what for what Roswell recap plus a recap Production and then snowstorms, like you name yeah. it. And so I'm back. It's been a hot home. second. I know. Yeah, it's it's been crazy. Yeah. But here we are. Yeah. Back again. Speaking of crazy. Wow, what an episode. <laughs> yeah. into that because um that was quite a whirlwind of uh characters and decisions and plot points. plot um yeah i don't know how i feel about it but that's fine we're gonna dive in so um we meet mama evans mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. so which i'm kind of like why are we just now meeting mama yeah. evans it's kind of been i mean i guess it's like they're you know they're 28 29 the so. trace you don't see your mom all the time yeah. but but if you live in the same city though yeah i would think that you would yeah well to the point where they, there was a whole part where he's like oh how are you and dad and she's like oh, fine but you could tell like they're not right right so that says to me obviously they're not communicating right so yeah. you, they live in the same town but they obviously don't talk yeah it's yeah and so there's obviously she has issues with mm-hmm. the dependency that they yeah. have on each other yes. that they never got from her yes. it's kind of like why would you bother to like be adopted like but just be like do your own thing like if you're not yeah. going to actually like use that because in the original one, like, they were all really close. Yeah, exactly. And that's what made it harder for Max and Liz, or Ma- Max and Liz, Max and Isabel, was that they were so close to their parents. And Michael wasn't. He had a foster dad that was a terrible human being. And so for him, it was easy to leave and to try to find himself as an alien. And Max and Isabel were really comfortable. They had really loving parents who were supportive. And, um, yeah, they were just taking care of really so yeah which I mean you still get that vibe but it's just not the closeness yes there's obviously not quite as close so that was kind of weird but yeah but yeah so it was weird that we hadn't kind of met her how their whole conversation like it was really just about hey let's have like another way to like talk about this symbol like who else can we bring in yeah talk about the symbol Mm -hmm. like the whole episode was very hmm how can we deal with this? And yes. then they just kind of deal with it in like a very either strange or very mm-hmm. obvious way. Yes, yes. The, like we were talking and basically the whole season, like the writing has been fine. Yeah. There's mm-hmm. really, you know, it's not going to like win an Emmy, but right. it's not bad. No. Like it's It's enjoyable good enough. and like you're, you follow along with it. So you're like, oh yeah, okay. The flow, like, I just felt a flow, whereas this episode, the flow was, like, all over the place, and it didn't feel right. Like, characters didn't feel right. The characters were really weird. Like, the characters have been very distinct for me. Yeah. In all of the episodes, like, I kind of understood where they were all coming from, and they all were pretty, like, staunch in their convictions. Mm -hmm. And then this episode, a lot of them made these you know, like, staunch statements, and then they, like, went back on them in, like, three seconds. Yeah. Or things they've been saying the whole season, and then they're just like, eh, not so much. Yeah, so it that just was seems confusing. to kind of, because we were talking on the way to the studio, and I, I agree that it seemed like they kind of wrote themselves into this corner, like you were saying, and so it seemed like, okay, well, we have to have Michael say this, because Liz has to be here. Like, we have to have Michael here, and we have to have Liz here, 
for this point. And yeah. it's like, that's cool, but like, I want to see that progression to that. Not just like, I'm going to say one line of dialogue and suddenly like, we're, t- we're on a team. Yeah. You know, like. That was definitely the, as, in general, it was Michael that the writing I was just like, not okay with. But especially with the whole Liz and Michael partnership, which is cool. Cool. Love that. No, no. I love that. It all that. makes sense. Like, yes. and especially, like, with how smart he is. Yes. And how smart yes. she is. Like, yes. it totally makes sense when they team up to yes. save Isabel. Like, got it. But he, like, came in, like, fighting and just, like, listen, you know, I'm just, she's gonna die and whatever. Yeah. And Liz's like, I'll help you. And he's like, no, because I don't trust you. And she's like, well, I can't. Well, I can't watch Max suffer. Well, okay. Yeah. Like, that's literally what happened. Like, it took literally one sentence for him to trust yeah. her just because she said she cared about Max. But one, if you didn't trust her, why would you believe her I just, that she even I said that? I feel like that should have been a second conversation. It's like, they yes. had this bust and argument up on this rooftop. And even Liz not even, like, admitting it that, like, I don't, I just don't want to see Max hurt. You know, like, that should have waited. Like, I feel like she should have been, like... Oh, did Michael just say all that shit to me? You know, like we all. Mm, well, you know, they and were on time thinking, crunch. They made it so like she was gonna die in a day. I know. So there is know, that and whole thing. And again, that's like that just kind of ruined. Like, I feel the need like she's dying. Like that's already urgent enough. Like, why have the time crunch like that? Because now, yeah, like things are gonna be sped up, and we're not gonna get any time for character development or to develop the plot at all. It's just straight up like one liners, and here we go. We're moving yeah. on and progressing. Like, it, it just, probably could have been two episodes. Yeah, for sure. And, I mean, a lot of these episodes have felt like a lot of stuff, but it was, like, the character arcs within the episodes yes. needed the time. Yeah. More so than, like, the plot itself. Yeah. Or it's like they needed to start these Michael-Liz conversations, like, at the beginning of the episode, so that by right. the end it would make right. sense as to, like, he needed to see why he should trust well, her, not just take her word for it. he is so protective, and he's so guarded. So, yes, I get that Isabel is dying, but he still would have hesitated a little bit to show Liz all of that, you yeah. know? So, I just felt like it was just really fast and really instant. I feel like he should have given, like, little breadcrumbs. Like, like maybe he, we don't see it, but, like, maybe he went down there and, like, grabbed something. He was like, hey, by the way, Liz, like, here's at least this. You know, like, I'll show you this first. I don't know if he and- even do that. Like... I don't know. Like, it was just so weird. But I do, like, because I did say, like, as it was happening, because he's like, oh, well, I'm going to go so that Max doesn't have to watch her die alone. And I was like, you literally will let her die? Like, but it was, so, I, I feel like I'm contradicting myself, but it's like, he went in there saying he didn't trust her. Yeah. And that was, that to me was the bad point he yeah. should not have gone in with such a chip on his shoulder right it should have gone in with the desperation of i don't trust I feel you he would... but i need you yes i feel like yes because he's so rash yes. at times that like yeah I, yeah i think it would have been more of a desperation like i don't i don't care like i don't yeah. care anymore but he didn't even say like i don't trust you i don't like you but you're our only chance then i would have been like okay i get that but to go in and say, like, what was, I guess, I'm not, what was even the point? He's literally just berating her for not working on it. And, that, then, and, and just, like, throwing this stuff about Max and, like, Max loving her kind of a thing. Yeah. It's, like, it's not even a good writing of him trying to manipulate her. You know yeah, what I mean? Right. Like, it just didn't. This, that whole scene was just not, it was not good in terms of Michael's character and, like, in how he has been so kind of solid, even though he's yeah. kind of all over the place, yeah. he's always had this, like, you get what he's about, you get what he's doing, mm-hmm. and he was just not solid at all. Yeah. So I did not like that. I mean, they acted through it really well. Oh, for I sure. Mean, in for general, sure. I mean, I think all of the actors, really in all these episodes, yes. have done a really great yes. job um, with just kind of so-so scripts, and then with a script like this that's even less so uh-huh. I really think they did a really yeah. nice job of still making me care about for sure it. and again like team Liz and Michael super fun yeah. like I love that concept and I love showing that side of Michael that's like really this is who he is like this is his element yes. you know and he has been working on this stuff for years yes. and like he hasn't given up without on him having science. to be like some burnout dropout yes. whatever yes. angry angsty yeah man. exactly yeah. so I, I totally agree I just wish they could have gone about it a little differently instead of just, you know, there's like a, a, what is that? There's a dartboard with a bunch of ideas and they were just like, ping, 
okay, that one. Yeah. Like, it just, that's, there's just so much disjointedness. Mm-hmm. Even, like, I had issues with Kyle this episode because he's, like, kind, like, he's talking about keeping things from each other, but he's keeping right. the secret about Rosa. So it's, like, I feel like he has a lot of integrity that now they're kind of messing with. He's mm-hmm. talking about how, as a physician, he has to work right. on everybody regardless. Yeah. But then he doesn't have the decency to tell Liz about Rosa and her true parentage. Right. Like, right. so that I don't like. Yeah. I don't, there's just, there's lots of it that I'm just kind of, <sighs> Isabel even, like. Yeah. Because she's like, oh no, I must be stopped. Mm-hmm. And, mm-hmm. Oh, you know, just like, this is, even no matter what happens, like, I gotta be stopped. And then at the end, she's like, I want to live. Yeah, that line, I was like, oh. And I'm like, what are you oh. doing? Like, and it's, again, it's not the actors. It's, no. Oh, it's all just the writing this episode. Yeah. I don't know. Yeah. I don't like know if the... someone fell asleep on the keyboard and, like, just a bunch of stuff happened. Yeah. Like, Liz and Max's relationship to me just isn't as impacting as I, I wish and want it to be. And I know I'm so for the original, but... I'm not expecting this, like, super, like, I'm gonna, like, molest you and la 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 la, you know, yeah. right now I at all, because I get, like, Liz's situation, right. obviously, and there's a lot going on, but I just feel like, I don't know, like, I'm just so detached from them, so, like, to me, it's just, they're in a relevant relationship now, like, when I hear that Max loves her, I'm like, okay, cool, get over it, because well, she's not into you. <laughs> quite honestly, like, now this could be... Again, I don't know if this is a writing thing or an acting thing, but I'm starting to just be like, Max, get it together. Like, he just looks so pitiful. Mm-hmm. Like, all the time. And just like, yeah. I don't know. And it's like, and I get how he feels, but at the same time, like, it's your fault. Like, yeah. all this stuff. Like, oh, yeah. And it's basically been since, you know, admitting, like, yeah, he did all this, like, for, you know, Isabel to save Isabel and everything. Um, and there were a couple things that Michael said to Liz that I felt like were supposed to kind of start bridging that gap. Yeah. Uh, I can't remember specifically. It wasn't about the love, but it was, he said something about Max that I was like, okay, this is like the beginning of like trying to like make this work, but... I think they just went too far, and now they're trying to come back. Yeah. Uh, so then, really what we haven't talked about at all is Alex's whole thing. Well, okay. I was okay with that. Well, I'm okay with it, but it still it, it kind of feels field. a little out of character that he would, like, straight up just, like, assault his dad. It was definitely... Like, there was no build-up to that. Like, yeah. again, if he... We had seen, like, scenes of him, like, investigating and, like, we see on the computer, like, his dad, or, like, some information, yeah. and, like... Or maybe he accidentally discovered that, like, his dad had been, like, snooping and, like, pinpointing Michael or something to, like, build up that yeah. rage. It was really just... There's just no trigger that we saw. It was just the, oh, there's this cabin, I know that you were involved. But that was, like, t- three episodes ago. Yeah. So, it was, like, he he, had, he was fine. He was talking or to... even if, know. like, Maria's mom had said something to trigger him besides don't go down that train basically you yeah. know like so something specifically like about i guess she did mention his dad she but she did but not to not where it'd like be like that. a trigger yeah yeah we just had no trigger for him to suddenly be like ah yeah. and like beat the it's shit just, out of his dad yeah. and tie him up and i get and, it but he's a bad dude and I, it's almost like he's taking the rage that i'm sure everyone felt from the flashback oh for sure that i feel like in their writing, they're like, oh, people are going to be just so mad at Master Sergeant. We just need to, like, get him, like, a little whoop in, like, because people yeah. will like that. And it's almost like he was living off of that when I'm like, dude, that was 10 years ago. Obviously, right. I'm not that he's, like, recovered, but he's, like, gotten over it enough. Again, so, weird writing. Yeah, like, again, there should have been a trigger for him to go after his act. Because I, yeah. like, I was about it. Like, don't get me wrong. Yeah. I was like, hell yeah, Alex. And, like, he knew the right things to say. Right. And he was like, oh, you've been putting me down all these years? Well, listen up. Look at what I was doing overseas, you know? Yeah. Um, and so I loved all of that. Like, I'm not discrediting that because I think that's so important Yeah, for that once character. he got there, it was fine. But it was just kind of getting there. Yeah. Because even, like, him, like, threatening him and saying, like, listen, you got to leave. Yeah. Like, I'm fine with all that. It was just, it's really just the assault part. But yeah. I'm like, dude. Yeah. 
Like, and again, and it's not that I'm mad at it. It's just the thought process. Because yeah. Alex just doesn't seem yeah like a violent type. Yeah, well, and that's the thing. Like, we don't know what he experienced at war, so... so obviously, he lost a leg. Yeah, so, I mean, he, he has obviously seen things, and True. his dad abused him his entire life, so... Um, True. But, again, yes, there was just no trigger for that to, like, suddenly happen. Yeah. So, I don't know. I don't know, it was weird. Yeah, it was I mean, love it, but also, like... Yeah, it's, like... It felt fan service. Which, fan service is good... You know, like, you do have to listen to your fans, but you also just need to make sure it all makes sense. And just in general, a lot of this episode, character choices just didn't. Yeah. Also, can Noah just know already? Yeah. Like... Poor guy. Man, and now he, his wife is missing. Yeah. Like just, oh, that's gonna be intense. But like, oh, how? Like, how? What do you? I don't know. Yeah. Like he just he needs. Well, and you just literally just took a person and they're just off the face of the earth. Who was dying? Yeah. Like was in the hospital took dying them. again. How are they? I mean, I guess in this case they had Kyle that could like help them get out. Yeah. But it's like, how do they keep avoiding hospitals? <laughs> Because, so like, true. that's not normal. So true. Like, you can't just leave a freaking hospital. Especially if you're, like, spitting up blood. Yeah, you were in, like, the psych ward. Yeah. Like, that's no. monitored. Yeah. I mean, yeah. or Kyle's really sticking his neck out, but I don't see why he would do that. Exactly. Exactly. I mean, truly, like, yeah, he's going to try to help people, but at the same time, like, at the risk of his job? Yeah. I don't know. Mm. Mm. Choices. Uh, yeah, there's, there's things Choices. in general. There's, like, a lot of scenes I feel like we've missed. Because yeah. they talk about that she said goodbye to Noah, and we didn't get to see that. Yeah. And so I was like, what all. did she say? Like, why? Because he's obviously upset next episode. Yeah. So she obviously didn't give him enough information or whatever. So the fact that we just, like, didn't see that, like, yeah. I don't know, there's just so many, like, you think it's like a cliffhanger, and we're going to pick up right where we left off before commercial, but then they're, like, an hour later. Yep. But what happened? Yep. Like, you can't just, like, drop a bomb and then say, ah, we'll just kind of give you the cliff notes. Yeah. Plus, she is Michael and Maria. Like, this friendship just needs yes. to happen. Didn't I say that? Like, episode you one? You did. You did. And so, yes. Oh, so like, they're going to be, like, just, like, friends, it. like, getting beer, it. just, like, hanging out. Yes, besties. And that's what we got. And, like, happen. yeah, and they have that whole thing. And, like, I love that, like, they're totally shutting down, like, anyone from saying it's romantic. Yes. Yes. Max is just like, oh, you guys sleep together? No. Yeah. Hell no. no. Like, not happening. Like, no. and she said that a couple times. Oh, for she's, sure. She's, she's like, like he's no. cute, but I ain't going for it. Yeah, exactly. Like, <laughs> yeah. Well, and, I, and obviously, for many reasons. Um, but yeah, I'm here for some platonic friendships, especially between a man and a woman. Mm-hmm. They can be friends. It yep. doesn't have to be like. Not every relationship has to be a sex thing. People, everyone's shipping um, Kyle and Alex. Because of their whole, uh-huh. like, friendship yeah, when they were younger or yeah. whatever. They're like, oh, everyone likes Malik, but what about Kyle and Alex? And I'm like, every friendship does not have to equal shipping, guys. Exactly. You can just that's be true. friends. Yeah, like, for sure. Mm-hmm. It is a thing that happens. And, like, that's the thing. is like, Michael and Maria can really relate to each other and can really get each other. And um, you can still have some of those, like, crushy scenes from the original that can be between those two. That's not, like, we're in love and, like doing it but you know yeah, like but it's just like system. holding each other and yeah just being that good support so i am so about that i yeah. and i just want to see more of that i want to see more maria yeah. like come on i mean at heather least, yeah come on heather we want to see you girl you're so beautiful you are beautiful oh. we need you yeah so we have isabel she's dying and coughing up blood and they can't max can't heal her and he's all wore out. He's puking in a little pan, bed pan. Um, Not cute. Yeah. So we got Team Liz and Michael. They're putting their little head brains together. And Michael shows her that he has basically essence or liquid essence. essence from the pods, which triggers her little brain. And she's like, hey, that's what kept you guys safe for like 50 years or whatever that can probably at least contain her. So, we're now just containing the problem. 
Um, and so, so she has some time. Yeah. Well, I guess the two of them, Michael. And I yes. assume they're going to work together, and yeah, and they can figure out how to reverse it, stop it. Mm-hmm. Who knows? Just make it so that Isabel's not going to die. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, I'm still trying to figure out how I feel about this whole situation. Like, it's cool with the whole like putting her into the pod. Like, I love that concept, but I'm just not sure how I feel about the whole. Well, we, I mean, we talked about kind of, like, the progression and, like, story writing, but, like, yeah. I don't know. It just seemed, I don't know how I feel about it's it. It's, in general, like we said earlier, it's just feeling closed in. You know, they built their foundation with their blocks, and they're building, and they're building, and as they get, they're getting to the top, and there's less options. There's less places to build. And I feel the walls closing in a little bit in terms of, okay, so you've got her in this pod, so now what? Like, I'm wondering if it's like, they said, okay, we're going to start this way, we're going to end this way, and uh, we'll just kind of figure it out, like, kind of how we get there. Yeah. And so, like, they're kind of going for this end goal and not necessarily seeing all the little... Mm -hmm. Yeah, like How the it filler is kind of off. Yeah. Yeah. Because, yeah. and this is really the first episode I've really felt that way. Same. There's yeah. been, in, like, little scenes, little sure. things since that, you know, I felt, yeah, that was kind of weird, or that didn't, that was kind of lame. But overall, it didn't affect the episode. Right. But this episode, it was just the whole thing, yeah. really. There was just a couple moments that I was like, yeah, that's good. Mm-hmm. Um like the so, yeah. visuals like I mean yeah that kind of concept of like putting the silver on her that was very alien you know like that yeah. was like really tricky I liked the look of it I wish yeah. it kind of had more of a like shimmer yeah Ugh. not like the goop but yeah like a nice shimmer yeah like, like to metallic. me it was like okay they got yeah. some like shampoo or something like I guess yeah. it looked like something that you could just like go get at Walgreens yes yeah. like I know that it wasn't supposed to be but but I like the act of it. And yeah. then there was like the weird CGI going into the pod. God, love it. Which Sci-fi granted, CGI. And they can't help it. They're doing totally. the best they can. Totally. I can't do any better. My after effects isn't that great. Um but still it's it is something that takes you out of it that mm-hmm. you're like, Oh yeah, okay. That's that's where it's computer generated. Yeah. Gotcha. Which I mean, we saw that in the first episode. Yeah. I was like Oh, look at them pods just a bobbing along and yep. floating. <laughs> so, <laughs> I like the yeah. look of the pods, actually, in general. It's just the going into it was weird. Yeah. But yeah. Whatever. It's fine. It's fine. She was cool inside. That was a cool yeah. look where she was just kind of like floating and yes. bobbing. Yes. Um, and then Max. Also, does... why were Max and Michael just like standing there as she was like just naked watching. and putting her stuff on? Like, yeah. Like, I know that she's like about to go in there and they don't know how long she's gonna be in there but maybe like two be. episodes guys like maybe right i don't think it's gonna be a long time right. because it's isabel i really don't i don't know and now it's time for roswell's very own babe watch this week on babe watch she may have been sick she may have been dying and coughing up blood she may have been in a damn hospital gown but damn it if Isabel did not serve it this week. We got more of that profile, girl. We got more of that profile. And when she was trying to take over Kyle's mind, she was like, I'm trying to get you to take your shirt off. I was like, ooh, girl, you want me to take my shirt off? Like, whatever you want, girl. She's sexy, she hot. No matter what is going on with her body, her body be banging. Babe, watch. So, they had talked about how they have no memories of their past lives, kind of a thing, and, you know, Michael says, or maybe not Michael, I can't remember if it was Michael or Max that says, like, maybe they didn't want us to remember. I think Michael said that. Yeah. So, however, I was thinking that, like, because they were concerned, like, oh, Isabel, if you go into these pods or whatever, you could lose your memories. Now, what if she comes out as other Bay? Yes. That's like, yes. uh, and, but uh. doesn't remember her life on Earth, but remembers yeah. her life. Yeah. Yeah getting some Valandra up in here yes. and she's all like oh no 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 That'd be sweet. I'm running things now yes that would be cool I'd be down for that yeah but again like it feels like if that's like the end goal is they're like okay we're gonna have this thing so that we can have you know 
we can get some of that stuff from their home planet and whatever. Yeah. They're like, how do we get that? We gotta get her in the pod. Oh, okay, <laughs> yeah. we have to get her in the pod by yeah. like getting her sick. Yeah. Like, just like that train yep. of thought is. Yep. Mm, it's just not always the best. I, I get it. I think, I think she, this other cool, self, though. has been the brains of everything going on. That's true. Like, I think she was the one controlling Wyatt mm-hmm. and trying to protect them and stuff. And, like, I just think. She's crazy. Yeah. There's obviously something for real inside of her. We know it has to be some sort of, whether it be a past life situation, whether it be some sort of parasite, whether it be just some other entity. We don't know. But after they specifically mentioned dissociative identity, which means that's not what it is. Right. So we can officially throw that out, even though it had, like, it very was textbook that but that's fine they don't have to do that um so i kind of like that they at least threw that in there because then you're like okay people are gonna say that Mm -hmm. cool since you said that could be a possibility obviously it's not right like (laughs) i just think it'd be super cool and it would and again because they keep talking about the whole like memory thing and like being in the pods and stuff and true she's going in all like innocent and like i'm gonna come out and i'm gonna be cured and like I'm gonna be good and that's not gonna that's not so what's gonna happen. if she has well here's the thing because if she comes out then like I guess it depends on how they have to administer this cure yeah that's gonna be a whole thing like because if she comes out and she's some other entity or she has different memories or whatever like is she gonna let them like inject her with something or do you think maybe it'll be something that they can inject like I, right that's into what I'm the thinking pod? Is through the pot well because they said like silver and that needle that he was able to extract liquid from, he was able to at least get that in there. So I think it's going to be a complicated yeah. process, and they're going to have to like manipulate and make probably some special needles and stuff. But um, they'll probably be able to basically regulate. put it right through the pod as opposed to getting her out and then yeah. administering it. Because it's yeah. an embryo. Yeah. I'm still, I mean, I'm still in it. I still yes. want to know, like, yes. what's going on. It's just one episode. It is you just know, one episode. You know, we're not going to like everything, you yeah. know? And this is just one that we just didn't like. So yeah. maybe next week it will be super redeemable and it's going to be, it looks really intense, yes. you next know? Yes, next week's episode, I mean, Whew. Noah. 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 Noah is, he's batting a hundred here. He's a he's a max. He is. Suspect. And, I mean, I get it. Like, he's always getting Max thrown in his face. Mm -hmm. And then I assume Max is just going to be like, oh, yeah, we had to take this about to rehab. Or whatever. And he's going to be like, rehab? She was dying. Yeah, exactly. Like, she doesn't need rehab. Like, I saw her. She was fine. They're so terrible with their excuses. I'm just like, oh, my God. You guys have been doing this for how long? You suck at it. So true. Yeah. So, yeah, I'm super interested to see where it goes still. Mm Mm-hmm. And just hoping that they, uh... Yeah, where is Liz after all of this? Like, is she just going to be working with Michael now and doing Probably. things? Yeah. You know, where's Kyle know. with all of this? I'm, yeah. When Kyle's got all of his own stuff. He definitely does. My biggest, so one of the things that made me super nervous um, this episode is I just had this whole feeling that Master Sergeant is trying to, like, turn Alex against Max and or against Max, Michael against Michael but in like a totally different way than before yeah because like now he's saying like he's a terrorist like yeah. Yeah. whatever like I feel like you know saying that Alex is a you know bad news because he's a criminal or whatever is like one thing but you know if Alex somehow uncovers like the alien thing like that sort of breach of trust like I don't know like no. it made me nervous yeah when well, that's like the thing it. like he, he just sent his dad away, so he's feeling good. But, like, now he's like, okay, this is some, like, real shit, though. Because, like, I got a piece of this. So I would have a feeling that he'd probably sit in, and he's probably going to have that moment of, she told me not to go down this dark path, but I'm kind of tempted to see what my dad dug up. Yep. And about Michael. I'd be curious if they're like, oh, well, there's well, my ex there, my hot ex, and there's some right. dirt on him. I right. kind of want to know. Right. The guy that, well, <laughs> especially because he's like, you know, my dad always said that he was bad, so I need to read this to prove that he's good. Right. And then I'll find out something. Right. But I bet at the same time, that could be a good thing, because then maybe he'll say, good Michael, and be like, 
dude, I know you're an alien. What's up with that? And do you want to do you want to make out? Yeah, maybe. <laughs> I, I, you know, or at least like maybe he, or even if he's pissed and like, dude, why would you tell me? Yeah. Like at least then, like it'll be out in the open, and then they can be fine. He could do kind of like a, uh, like a original Roswell, Sheriff Valenti kind of a thing where he kind of gets obsessed about it and is like maybe kind of the enemy for a little bit and then has that turning point and then obviously becomes like super ally. True. Kind of a thing. So Super ally, super... Super babe. Yeah. Super babe ally. Super babe ally. Yeah. Oh, my gosh. Oh, gosh. They just... They're so cute. I need to get back together. They do. It's giving me... I'm getting hot. I over it. I know. Well, it's great to be back. Indeed. And, you know, Tuesdays are always great to watch Roswell. I still enjoy it. I have fun with it. Still love all of my Roswellian babies. I just, uh, yeah, I just wasn't, like, digging this episode. But I have hopes for next week, because next week does look looks intense. Yes. So. The future is still bright. Exactly. We just need Maria here to, like, yes. tell us, forecast. How does this... That's really what's been missing everything. There's not another Maria. Maria. Again, yes, again, Maria. We need Maria. She's a great supporting role. Bring Maria. Yep. Do it, writers. If you're going to do anything, write Maria. Yeah. And Malik's back. And Malik's back. Yeah. Actually, we have a list, so yeah. we're going to do another video with like our list of like, what you, yes. we need you guys to do. So. Make Max and Liz less problematic. Well, too late. Well, thank you guys again for joining us for another awesome episode of what? The Roswell Recap. Roswell Recap. It will be the Roswell Recap. Uh, uh, the Roswell. We'll see you next week.